Because we're talking about hamsters. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're going to be doing some artwork today. Hamster. Uh, uh, that's the way to start it off. Hey! Got to start it off with a bang, huh? <laughs> Better to start off with an empty stomach than start with a full one. Amen. So let's see. Um... Means you could have pooped. I am not. Girls don't poot. <laughs> Said no girl ever. Seriously. Name one girl who has never actually farted. Well, actually, according to the original Sailor Moon anime, Ray has never farted. I feel so bad for her. I, I, I don't believe her. That's my problem. We don't sweat, we glisten. I sparkle. Well, there's a sick Hamtaro who's got the bag under his eyes. Why would I want that? I don't know. It's in the gallery. Ham ham. You know, I like how ham just can get wet, but they play out in the snow several times. Okay, so... Oh, because it's a GIF file. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, Why can't I put this image in the thing? Oh, it's a GIF file. You would need to download it and then put it in manually. Hold on. Open with... Hello, Paint. So yes, we will be doing Hamthulu. What is Hamthulu, you may be wondering? Eh, give it a while. You'll figure it out. I think my audience is smart. You audience? Think or you know? Well, I mean... <laughs> the most interaction I get with my audience is people leaving first comments, so... <laughs> God, I fucking hate those. I'm getting so... I've never, I've never actually gotten one before, though. You're lucky! I have! <laughs> Well, I don't get comments, period, though. That's the other thing. Oh, everyone, go to this channel, which I will no, put in don't, the... No, <laughs> don't. Don't. I am not shaming people into doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. My stuff is just gameplay stuff. There's nothing worth it there. <laughs> nothing. Go, go to PewDiePie. No, don't go to PewDiePie. Don't give him any more money. You'll get lost. <laughs> lost in what? The stupidity! <laughs> Can you tell how much of a fan of a PewDiePie we are? <laughs> Has a foam finger, but it's, pa it's pointed down. <laughs> it's, it, and on it, it says, suck it. My foam finger's a middle finger. Thank you very much. Uh, the head of the wrestling. Yeah, you know, that uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin used to give out, but they stopped giving him out because they made wrestling children friendly. Which is dumb, because it's a soap opera for adults. It is a soap opera. Y'all need to understand. It is a soap opera. Anyway, we're supposed to be talking about hamsters here. <laughs> so obviously you... What is your experience with Hamtaro? Uh, uh, Hamtaro, if I remember correctly, came out when I was in middle school. Well, so I would have been like late... Early teens, like, I would have been double digits. Yeah, same here. So, and I remember watching that every morning before going to school, and I loved the song. <laughs> Which I tried to sing earlier <laughs> and failed epically at. Well, the, well, the, the lyrics are not understandable. The lyrics make no sense. You think simple and clean makes no sense when you read them in English? I, I wouldn't know that. Simple and clean makes no sense if you actually read the lyrics. It sounds beautiful because the one who sings the music is a very beautifully sung singer. But when you actually read the lyrics, it makes no sense. Yeah, do you have a favorite episode? Or uh, do you not remember? I, I, I don't know why, but the one episode... I, I might not have a favorite, but the one episode that, I, that sticks out in my mind for some dumb reason is the 
twirling, whirling round and round. See the. Is it see the colors round and round? Fuck, I can't remember the song now. Crap. Uh, that would be uh, that would be Stan's song that yeah. he would sing to Sandy when she was little. And it was the only way they managed to find Stan uh, in the in the actual anime. Yeah, and it's like a heart jerker. Yeah, I mean, for a children's anime at least. Yeah, for a, yeah, a kid's anime, but because if you actually look at it, the lyrics are really stupid. It's a cute a kid. If you actually listen to the, if you actually read it, yes, the lyrics are kind of stupid, but it sounds like something you would sing to like a little kid. You know, there's a modern-y version of it. Go on. Uh, in one of the uh, in one of the specials, I think it might even be in the dub of the birthday episode. Um, they're putting on a show for Hamtaro because it's his birthday, and everyone knows in Hamtaro's universe, Hamtaro is like a god. Of so, course, he's god. So they reworked uh, Stan's song for the, to do it on stage. Aww. And of course, uh, Sandy did her ribbon dancing and Stan sang a song with some maracas. Maracas. Ay, ay, ay. I like how the whole series of that event went on so uh, quickly. Because episode 12 was, oh, hey, I have a brother. I'm trying to find him. I know where your mother, your brother might be. Episode, uh, uh, the next episode, we found your brother. Yay! Very, very next episode. Bijou's sad. Let's talk about Hamtaro and Bijou relationship some more. And that's, that's how it went. Yeah, it's no, like, talking about, oh, you're my brother, let's try to, you know, connect again, blah, blah, blah. Are you still uh, into... <laughs> that, that's not gonna work with Stan. Because Stan has a flirt. And Sandy's job is to be the misty of the relationship. And pull his ear. <laughs> Which is a very big target. Well. But yeah, the very ham. first episode, uh, very first episode stands officially back and with the ham hams. Uh, it was Bijou's Ribbon. Oh, I remember Bijou's Ribbon. Yeah, that was just episode because boys don't understand boys. She's just being adorable and a French hamster. And, a very uh, French hamster. Yeah. And then it just kind of spiraled out of control. And the whole reason Stan was there in the first place was to let on about Acorn Mountain. And that was his ex ex point in the entire episode. I have a secret place for Acorn Mountain. I'm a flirt with Bijou. I think it's Bitch Chat. Hey, let's go up to Acorn Mountain. <laughs> Poor Stan. Oh, by the way, I should make this a screen share so you can actually get a. Well, I'm drawing two. Yeah, well, you can still take a peeky peek, so you can tell me if I'm screwing up. If it's your own original character, I can't say anything. Well, you can make sure I'm doing at least ham body. You have an entire wiki of references. I think you don't need my help for references. <laughs> as long as you use the Amer as long as you use the Western dub, and not the uh, sub. They made ham ham skinny. Why do you make ham taro skinny? That's an underfed hamster. Hold it around his neck. It's like when they made Pikachu skinny. It's like, what are you doing? Stop yeah, it! But even if the, even if it looks weird, it, you know, it does work with the animation style better now. Yeah, it does. It'd be kind of hard for uh, Fat Chew to do what he does now. I know, but I want my pudgy Pika back. Well, it's not like you can't find the original dub anywhere. Yeah. Poor kid. Easy. Yeah, that's like no brainer. If you hear family arguments in the background, I hate my life. He hates his life. No, oh, I'll take that over the dog. Bad doggy. No biscuit. Aww. No biscuit for Evie either. Well, that's just being mean now. Evie knows what she did. Okay, now which ear looks more like a ham ham ear? Uh, they need to be out rounded more. They're they're bigger than they look. They're oh, like they're bigger, they've been, like bigger circle. They're like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, kind of like Mickey Mouse, but with inner with, with inner workings, and you can't take them off. 
body of that image. Okay, let's see. One giant ear. <laughs> Does that work? Hey, I got finished. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got to come down more. You're just so picky. It's Hans Haro. You He's... got references. You see how they work? They they are big circles, but they come down more. They they, they line up in their own ways. Okay. Like, they actually come down and meet the top of the, uh... They actually come down and meet the top of their eyes. Oy vey, this is gonna be hard. Why did I think of doing Hamthulu? Besides, you're using an awkward reference. You're using Hamtaro with his face tilted. It's a little... It's a little, uh... It's a different perspective. <laughs> and you would think it wouldn't matter much, but it actually matters a lot. You know what else doesn't matter? What colors your underwear? I'm not going to answer that question, because I just woke up. In English. Oh, is that ribbon? No, not ribbon. Uh, yes, I'm going to put ribbons on him. Th on him no, I, I'm trying to remember Seymour's girlfriend. Do you remember? Which was the one that was like a super Asian stereotype? Um, Jokey? Jokesy? Joker? Not sure. I don't quite remember. Oh, Barrett. Okay, uh, that's her name, Barrett. Beret. To him, Tar. Howdy. Howdy was the the. the I shouldn't say Asian stereotype because it was made in Asia. Except that's not what his accent sounds like at all. In in yeah yeah he's like redneck. So Very it's like, stuck. what the heck? On behalf of my family, I'm confused. Oh, well. He was the fun guy. Everyone's gotta have one. Yeah. Even everyone else hates him. We all hate the pun guy. Ask Chugga Conroy. I like the pun guy. I like the pun guy, too, but... I am the pun guy, so... I am the pun guy. I am the walrus. Remember, kids, pay to your walruses. What? And remember, those aren't sand seals, they're sand walruses. They have fucking tusk. Have fucking tusk at your local retail. Must be 18 or ordered to purchase. Battery is not included. Now a bad dragon. <laughs> you know, if any kids were actually watching this... <laughs> Please, what kid doesn't know what... That stuff is at this point. You forget what generation we live in. Yes, welcome to the internet age. But you know what I mean. If any kid was watching this with overprotective parents, <laughs> I know if uh, I know if I want uh, X watch it, she'd be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Like, here, let me show you. How do you know what this is? I Inter live on the internet here. <laughs> You find things out the fastest here. Be them clean or not. <laughs> oh, poor, poor, poor. She was a shelter bitch, man, let me tell ya. Okay, I gotta make sure I spell- How do you spell Cthulhu? <laughs> uh... Never mind, Google helped me. Okay, so he has a lot of tentacles. Tentacles? Well, he's effectively a squid monster. Do not insult his squiddiness. And he has Why? bat wings. Who's a demon? He has, like, demonic wings and squid face. No one ever remembers the demon wings in art. Well, a lot of people do, but I forget. Well, because he's mostly, he's mostly known for being the squid monster, like a kraken. Not many people, uh, not many people associate him with de demonicness. Well, he is supposed to be a, uh... A Lovecraftian creature of die. Well, he's a demon. He should be. No, I screwed up on my uh, eyes. Oh no, the eyes are actually surprisingly complicated. Yeah, you think? Oh, that's that's easy. I'm like, 
because like it's more than just uh, a it's more than just the black lines with some white circles in it because like some eyes actually have color in them and it gets confusing. Well, this is Cthulhu. To make them look to make them look right, it's tough. Exactly. And you're also doing that Cthulhu version of it, so it makes it even harder. Yep, because I love to challenge myself. Well, if you think nice. about it, it makes it your own original character, which you know I can steal, right? Original OC, do not steal. <laughs> People are totally gonna steal it. What? People are totally gonna steal it, though. <laughs> yeah. It's like Pokemon recolors. <laughs> it's like Sonic OCs. What are you talking about? Original character, do not steal. Oh, for the love of God. Hey, let's start a war with the Sonic fan base. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> I think the Sonic fan base have given up on fighting now. I don't know. Have you seen what Aaron did with those cupcakes? Aaron. Hanson. Hanson. Gangrams. Oh. <laughs> Can I point out? As much as I do subscribe, I am subscribed to Game Grumps. I don't watch them religiously. Well, because you're not uploading anything. Okay, mister, I am not wanting to watch Breath of the Wild. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't talk about it, because, you know, we have Nintendo fans following me. Breath of, the, Breath of the Wild is the new Ocarina of Time. Okay, that's a little harsh. Yeah. That's but a it's funny, because I, like e I don't like either game, so it doesn't make sense, it makes sense I don't like them. <gasps> How can you hate Ocarina of Time? It's beautiful! It was like it's Landmark! It's a landmark, but it's still boring as sin. Okay, can weird. you at least admit it was a landmark game? I just said it was a landmark. Okay, well at least you respect it for that. I can, I can, and it did birth some of my uh, more favorite games, such as uh, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess, always awesome. Wind Waker, always awesome. Eh. Excuse me. Do not, in, do not insult the game which has Kitty Link in it. Look, I own both Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess and Wind Waker and I still play them but I can still admit that they're fairly boring to me I think I have agree with that so yeah the shading the cell shading style of Wind Waker is really cool and really unique and yes it's fun but there's also a lot of sailing and even with the HD version remake it didn't fix all my problems with the game yeah. Is that it's still kind of boring. I will admit it is kind of boring, all the sailing. I also don't like boats, so that doesn't help either. And seagulls but then you would, eagle. But then you would think, oh, well, it's Skyward Sword then. It's got flying in it. You love flying. No, that game is horrible. That game is the epitome of what Nintendo thinks of its fan base. Slow, needs their handheld, do everything. You yeah. can't figure anything out for yourself. You don't have a character tell you. Fi was annoying. Fi, fi, fo, Be careful around that with Trevor. <laughs> she will bat you out. Listen, you know what I'm really happy about with Breath of the Wild? There's voice acting in it. Now now the years of wars over how you pronounce certain things can stop. We yep. don't. But it won't stop me from spelling Ganon with two M's. Yeah, I spelled Ganon with two M's. Shrub hates it. I spelled Ganon like... with two N's on accident, and Shrub's like, Ganon band, ugh! Yep. Uh, At least I have a reason for it. To annoy Shrub. I, no. I do it because I've always known it, and I grew up with the original Ganon for the NES. And I kind of knew how it was spelled, I saw how it was spelled, but I always used two N's, because I always thought that more letters meant more power. And Ganon's all about power. And that's how I grew up. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, the first tentacle is down. So we're going like a Barbosa? Okay. Yeah, we're kind of going for Barbosa. Because Barbosa's kind of based off of Cthulhu-ish. Pirates of the Caribbean fans are going to yell at me going, That's not what he's based off! Well, screw you! That's what I said he was based off with his freaking porn stage. <laughs> porn stage. Japan loves it. Okay, I'm just putting a bunch of tentacles on a hamster. Just... You know what's kind of weird? The stereotype is that Japanese really like tentacle form. I haven't actually seen all that much in my entire life. Uh, you you want a link? I know a guy who can give you a link. <laughs> well, I don't want to actually look at it right now. <laughs> well, one of my friends said, 
I don't know if this is appropriate to talk about on YouTube, so we won't talk about it. We'll talk about it later. We already talked about Bad Dragon. Go for it. <laughs> he actually has saw, seen a live-action version of Tentacle Porn. Oh, that's even more impressive. All it was was a hand puppet and a, a woman of age dressed in a Japanese schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> well, that's just that's just porn in general. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, they say it's this, but you know they're obviously 18 and older, because that would be illegal if it was. Yes, but... Actually, that would be younger, because the age is different for him. Yeah, but still. It's a live-action version with, like, some weird tentacled hand puppet. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah, and I'm sitting going... Yeah, I thought the same thing, going, you know, that's so stupid, I can actually believe that kind of thing exists. And before anyone asks, no, I do not have the link. No, I will not be linking it. No, you cannot have it. That's okay. If you want porn, you gotta go to me. I don't want to fuck both with no Pico. No. No? You sure? No talking like about that? porn on my website, please. I would like to stay good with the get the, de the devs. We just got done talking about chemical porn and Bad Dragon, and that's where you're crossing the line? <laughs> I have a very weird line crossing. Yeah. Your line is very vague and has no real standards. So how do you cross a line that may or may not exist? The line is Schrodinger's cat. The line so is... It's a dead line, but comes back every so often? No, Schrodinger's cat is basically where he put a cat in and there was a vial of poison that may or may... that could possibly break at some random point. Until the po Until that box is open, the cat is both alive and dead until the box is open to prove to prove otherwise. He was just proving a point that, like, the cat could be alive and dead at the same time. Yes, I've done research on Schrodinger's cat. Yes, I am a nerd yeah, audience. Hmm. Make you a nerd. What? And especially since I didn't know what it was. It doesn't really make you a nerd, especially since I didn't know what it was. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very, uh, complex, uh, I think physics? Yeah, physics. I think Game 3 did something like that, but with a uh, skitty instead, called a Schrodinger skitty. You want me to explain what Schrodinger, with a skitty instead, will it make it easier for you? No, I'm just trying to put the comparison, because like, that, that's my knowledge of Schrodinger's cat, is uh, Steven's skitty that they use as an example. Okay, so, um... So, um... This is gonna go over there for now. <laughs> it's just like, we're gonna move this tentacle over there. <laughs> but is it really there or not there? It's really there. Trust me. Oh, man. We're not doing no freaking theoretical BS right now, okay? I'm, I'm not into philosophy. Says the one with the Schrodinger's cat reference. <laughs> it's not philosophy, it's physics! Why does everyone think I'm weird? Well, someone has to. How else will I make my millions on YouTube? That's why porn, theoretical physics, and red, bad dragon. See, this is fun. We get to do all these little how to make Cthulhu add a bunch of tentacles. Someone who is a really good Cthulhu artist right now is screaming, That's not how I draw Cthulhu! Well, tough. It's gotta be a hamster, too. I think it's not like, well, tough, it's gotta be a hamster, too. I think it's more like, well, tough, that's not how you draw Cthulhu. Yeah, but hey, that's what artistic style is about. It is art! It is relative! It is a hamster! And you will hug it. With its many tentacles. <laughs> Which only means it'll hug you back. Many times. What do you think so far? Uh, hold on, I gotta finish the thing. Yeah, while he's drawing his thing, I am, uh... While... <laughs> it looks like a hairy man, a hairy man chew mustache. Oh, for the love of God, it's not Fu Manchu! Okay, maybe a little. Just kind of one, one that's growing out, so a lot of his nose is waving. Like, hi! 
Like this. Oh, it's gotta come out to the side. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> they have to have a mind of their own. They're his own must. They don't have their own sense of being. <laughs> they have to have a whole thing, right? Otherwise, they can't grip things. Like cups of juice. How does he even hold that cup of juice? It's obviously Cthulhu. It's using his mustache hands. <laughs> that explains everything. Even Horsey. The p Horsey when it's pineapple. <laughs> Here's Cthulhu. And hey, it actually makes sense if an aquatic beast. Mustache looks like a peen. Nah, it's not shaped to be a peen. No, to be a peen, it must look like. <laughs> hey, don't flip me off! <laughs> Does Cat know how to draw anything? More and less than me at the same time. Ask him to draw a jewel pet, see what happens. I don't want to do that right now. I want to finish my full mix. I might do a little bit later, though. I haven't done one in a while. I apparently have a fan that wants to do more. Oh, goody! I drew a limp noodle. Better a limp noodle than a limp biscuit. And I like limp biscuit. I think we'll just stick to the four, mus the four, uh. Yeah, I'm joking about the hand thing. Okay. So he also needs, if we're going to do a full-on, we're going to do a full-on, uh, we're going to need to do fins. Yay, my years of doing Homestuck art, finally useful. <laughs> I'm going to sell these as t-shirts, let's see how many people buy them. Well, you got to worry about the... Copyrighted out on uh, Hamtaro. Well, it's not a Hamtaro. It's Cthulhu. But Ham Ham is owned by that now. I said Hamthulu, which is short for hamster. Yes, but Ham Ham. It is a Ham Ham. <coughs> it's not a Ham Ham. It's just a cutesy version of drawing a hamster. Besides, it's only Disney and Warner Brothers that are the assholes at the moment. What would you do if I taught Shrub how to dance? You get really tired and have to sit down. No. Do we want to do side fins or do we want to do something more squiddy? Like this. <coughs> New for Splatoon 2. <laughs> Hamster unit. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Probably make it more entertaining. Like, get rid of the squids from Splatoon and actually make it, uh, make it about something a bit cuter. Hamsters. Like, maybe it doesn't have to be hamsters, just not squid people. So, yeah, okay, because we're trying to make it, basically with Cthulhu, you gotta be, like, more squid-like. And to make a squid, squids have the fin. Yeah, more, cra more crack and less fin. Ham. <laughs> yes, more crack and less ham. <laughs> At this rate, I'm drawing Cthulhu. <laughs> Just really adorable. <laughs> in the in a hamster suit. Listen, Cthulhu is a closet furry. None of you guys needed. To, none of you guys knew that, huh? 
HP Lovecraft was a closet furry. You know, and I think that I think that makes sense. Last furry convention I was at, I felt like someone was smacking my ass, but they were looking at me. I could see their hand the entire time. Yes. It also explained the suction sound when it happened. <laughs> that didn't really happen, did it? <laughs> well, think. Have I ever actually been to a furry convention? I don't know your love life. <laughs> Why would that be my love life? You can find love at a furry convention. I mean, it's true. <laughs> so, does that look better? Up, 50 leagues under the ocean is a different kind of brand, you know. That looks better. Let's see. Does anyone have a picture of a squid? Oh, that's a cute Cthulhu. That's a baby Cthulhu Venus. I need, like, the creepy... Somebody say, somebody say a Squidward. Huh. I also need to do the bat wings. Well, from a sense of the front view, we might not see it, unless it's, like, unless it's got a really impressive wingspan. Well, Cthulhu has an impressive wingspan, so Hamthulhu will also have an impressive wingspan. Well, then there you go. But then again, it's also a smaller creature, though, unless you're making a giant hamster, like, right out of South Park. You could look like Heebie Pigs. You know, just for that, I might not put wings on this thing, because I just remembered. Guess who can't draw wings? But it depends on wings. You can just look at Pedamon and you can look at, use that as a reference. Or look at the actual demonic, or, or even Debbie-mon would work. He's got demonic wings. I don't want to look at another Debbie-mon as long as I live. Why? It's just Debbie-mon. I said Debbie-mon, not Debbie-Debbie-mon. <laughs> What's wrong with Debbie-Debbie-mon? Because the wingspan is different. Debbie one's got the actual demonic wings. And those are practically just his ears. They're a lot smaller and more petite. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. This has nothing to do with Ham Taro. Yet. Oh, great. I gave Ham Taro jet wings. Well, that explains how Spats fly. Spat's a demon, he's got wings. Maybe we just won't give him through the wings. Okay, let's just redo the side squishies. Maybe if we do the ears instead, like... If we make them, like, part of the fins. So instead of having these big, giant ears, we can make Here them, we like... Got, I got a reference for you. Here's how a wing would probably work out of that hand hand. <laughs> if all else fails, a cute demon. Cute de Say hello to Spat. Hello, Spat. Are you single? Well, only because his job in life is to break up couples up. Yes. I might use that for reference. He's the anti. He's the anti-harmony. Who's Harmony? Harmony is the hamster of love. They got a hamster cupid? Okay, what ham- Do they have a hamster for retribution? I doubt that. Hamster for <laughs> premature ejaculation. Uh, that's Stan. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, Better. instead of having the ham- Should we just do like, instead of having the ham ham ears? We should do like more like how like on a squid it's like like that. Uh, nah, it's gotta be the ham ham ears. Yeah, it's gotta yeah, be the ham ham ears. It's straight. It's straight. They can have notches in them, so it looks like they're damaged. But because boss has damaged ears. Yeah. Also, I haven't put in the line thingies for the ears. I don't have any good shots of Harmony. Oh, Harmony has her own toy set. That's actually impressive. Oh darn, he can't hook up with Harmony. Is Harmony actually male? I've always wondered that. Are you actually gonna look up if Harmony's a male or a female? Oh god. Well, I always used to think that Harmony was actually male. Cupid's male. Okay, I guess that's the best shot of Harmony I've ever gotten. What do you think? 
I mean, we're not done done yet, but still. Yeah. And we still have to do the eyes. Look at me. So the interesting thing is, Fat can actually fly even though he has wings. He can he flies, but he's very, very, very bad at it. Harmony, on the other hand, can fly very well. Welcome to the analysis of Hamtaro. Oh, I can hold for a while. Well, I did threaten to do an analysis completely on on Rugrats once on one of his shows, so. Okay. Are we going for cute and adorable, or should we go for evil and mean? Well... <laughs> it's weird because the ham hams themselves usually aren't mean. But it's, it's usually the other animals, like the chickens and the chicks. They're usually the mean ones. In fact, the chicks are so famous they're notorious. Light. Yeah. Color them. And then there's that whole Cthulhu is pure evil. Well, not evil, but... Yeah, I think Spat is like the only real evil hamster that exists. You can make him angry. How's that look? That works. <laughs> Got a full thing vein out of him. <laughs> hey, don't insult the <laughs> anime goodness, anime marks that I am able to do. <laughs> Cat, how did you come up with this idea? Uh, lots of vodka. It was Friday night. I had nothing better to do, so I smashed my head against the door. I'm like, oh my god, I have an idea. I got the beer and like, oh, hey, the food. Gotta figure out the spotting on this little guy. That's not how you foot, cat. That's not how you foot. Trub's gonna be like, what did you guys do? Uh, we drew a hamster. Well, you drew a hamster, I drew a boy. You helped. There we go. Hammy ham. That's not how they do feet. Crap! Yeah, like the like little nubs. We can do nub feet. Nub feet! Hey, if you actually uh, if you actually take a good look at uh, the shots that you have, they are right. And you've got several hamster shots. <laughs> several. Yeah, it's just spat a bit, uh, spat a bit wider, so he's got bigger feet. Yeah. Okay. So... Maybe that explains why he can't fly, because he's just kind of a fatter hamster. Are you calling him fat? You call me bit. fat. Spat has a sweet a speech impediment. I wish I knew what episode that was. That harmony is in. Okay, question. Side fins, yes or no? Uh yeah, go for it. Side fins. Yeah, but I got I think I should make them smaller. Wait, what what do you mean? Hold on. Description. Love. Spat? Question mark. Boss? Potato? Question. <laughs> Always question your potatoes. Uh, apparently her Italian name is Lucina, which apparently means a little light or very light. Congratulations for her. Okay, episode 130. Rid, uh, rid, rid Harmony. What, are you going to actually watch this and analyze it? No. 
there's just I've always wanted to watch it with comic sub uh, with subtitles because there's a there's a part where she says something and then Spat just blushes for no reason. I am Hamfulu. Fear me. Why do I not hear fearing? Oh, it's not on here. Fear me, for I am Hamsulu! Well, apparently she also appears on uh, the Christmas episode. Two, uh, 232. Is that on here? <laughs> oh, hey, it's one of the episodes I do have. Episode 232. And 244. <laughs> nope, not on here. <laughs> anyway. we're, we're not gonna do wings on Hamsulu. <laughs> we have a lot on here. So, Hamthulu! Hamthulu! So, now it is time to do the fun part of this of this endeavor. Guess what that is, Tom? Yes, uh, that is it. That is it, Tom. Inking. Well, I mean, he is a squid monster. Oh, boy. Hold on, Tom. I have to be right back. Okay. Everyone praise Hamthulu.
Tom, have you worshipped to the mighty Hamtulu? Depends. Did you tell Hamtulu you loved him? No. You are a horrible person. Yes. How would you like it if Hamtulu told you he didn't love you? I wouldn't care because I don't need someone to talk to it. I say that clearly why, because I totally need someone to talk to it. But to say. I don't I don't need his so. love. How do you know him to lose a him? It'd be weird if it was a female. Well you never asked. I don't want to ask. Yes, go ask the benevolent giant god. You male or female? You teeth or dick? Neither? Cool. Oop. Program's lagging. Hold on. Lost the game. At 11 o'clock, when this is recording, the new Samurai Jack and an show will be on. And I am excited! What, I am? Yeah. It's fine. You should be excited too. Yeah. I should leave my name. No, the depression. I didn't, up, I didn't grow up in Samurai Jack after all, so I can't expect an affection. Well, I did, so, um. Cheese puffs. Can't be good, but it's not always. Cheesy poofs. We can't blame Canada, copyright reasons. Damn it. Can we blame Shrubria? No. C can I tell Shrub she's awesome? Yes. down on Hamthulu. <sighs> I guess I didn't tell you you're the lowest code. <laughs> no, you didn't, Grandma. Put it in the coffee cup. Okay. The purple one. Yeah. And I told the universe that cheese is delicious. <coughs> Hamdulu requires all your cheese. Someone talk about something. This is getting awkward and quiet. I like it. I don't. Quiet makes me bored.
strawberries. He's brushing the cow so he can get the best milk. Yep. Got to do it. Got a cow contest coming up on the 14th. What? Got an animal festival coming up on the 14th, so I gotta do my best. Gotta make all the cows pretty. I only have one cow. The barn you get at the beginning of story season is two, because I'm like, I'll only let you have one cow. How dare one, they? And one chicken. How dare they? Uh, it's a little tough. How, how, how do you... How... How... Ah! Hey, they don't... I don't know. There's a barn, and then there's... There's a, an old barn, and then there's a barn. And you start with an old barn and old coop. They only let you have one of each. But you can always make a better one later. We can have more. You have to... you were, at one point, you required, if you want to beat the game, actually get a, a, a better coop. Because you have to have... Because there's a thing where you have to have two cows. Do they go? Do they go moo? Yeah, especially if you take them outside. Do they go? I am free of this oppression. But like the cows actually have like mood statuses and different statuses uh, affect how they work. Like if you get an active cow, they uh, their happiness increases when they're outside more. But if you have a timid cow, their friendship doesn't increase. Side back to the barn, and in fact, it treats while they're in the barn. These cows are complex. See, this is why I like Stardew Valley. Cows are simple. Well, it's story season, though. It's, uh, it's the, the new Velka of Harvest Moon. But I think it's actually better than the Harvest Moon memory really. I don't really like the characters that are in Stardew Valley. Not like I do with uh, uh, story season. Although I did hear controversy over why can't I gay marry in this game? That's that's just a that's that's, that's a big thing though. Not really what you get with it. Mostly a Japan thing. Yeah. That's, not that big. that's why they didn't allow gay marriage in the Tamagotchi like Toma Tamagotchi life. Thank you. Like, if they don't allow it, how come they allow gay porn? I'm like, oh, for the love of God. That's different, that's porn. Yeah! Too small. <coughs> I finished. Oh, good for you. I'm still working on the lining of Hamthulu here. Yeah, but remember, I started this last night. Yeah, good point. Ooh, ooh. You want to hear a weird thing I heard from a friend of mine who works at Walmart? Yep, there it goes. Anyway, weird thing I heard about at Walmart from a friend who works at Walmart. Okay, there's apparently a person who works at my local Walmart, right? Who believes that every Walmart has a hollowed out basement full of and this is where it gets stupid, America. Full of nothing but weapons all ready for ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Let it sink in. <laughs> I'll show you that. We'll compare it to your Vulpix. Let's not compare Vulpixes and say we uh. did. Oh, wow, it's actually not a clock we should. I know, right? Well, it's just the same as you said.
So. Cthulhu's looking nice. Yeah. He's uh, planning world domination again. As he wants. What? As he would want. Okay, that's how curves work. I'm not going to use curve anytime soon. <laughs> I didn't know how curve worked, okay? I'm learning as I go here. I learn by doing. That's what you're supposed to do. And that is the sound of the sister who got hit. No, that's the sound of the sister who was doing the hitting. Cthulhu, do you have anything to say to your followers? Bring me sunflowers! Oh, what? What? He wants food! He's hungry! Bringer of souls. To devour. Nom 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 nom. Let's see. If I were a ham ham.
So, in other news, Hamthulu is looking like a ham. What? Point. What? That's the point. Well, maybe I wanted Ham Ham to look like a potato. Oh, I'm gonna have fun coloring this thing. I don't know if I should. I think I'm gonna stick to like some simple flat colors because the line art is so complicated. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Follow the same rules of Ham Ham. So we gotta figure out what colors to do for this little guy. Wow. Uh, open for suggestions. I may start with what Cthulhu is and work from there. He's green. He's a whole lot of green. Well then start with that. <laughs> figure it out from there. Wow. You're just a crank a, a ball of sunshine right now. <coughs> I'm sick. What do you want from me? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hug? Uh, sure you want to hug a sick person? I get sick 24-7. I'm used to it. Whiskers. His fins are his whiskers. What? Don't question me. I am an artist. Could not get here soon enough for vacation time. Do, do, do you want a cookie? Uh, 
I have wafers? Vanilla? Strawberry. Oh, those. I'm thinking van vanilla wafers. No, I don't want to... There we go. Oh, he looks so angry and adorable. Did someone take your cookies? Yes. You need to be careful what you say. Hmm? This is why you need to be careful what you say. Why? Because it's my head having to draw it. Because now I have to draw ham through Lou? Yes. <laughs> I make one little ham through Lou joke on one of my Twitch streams and. It must be. Sad thing is, I'm not doing it on Twitch. I just don't feel like twitching right as of today. Well, twitching too much is kind of a problem. It's very bad for your health. Yep. Along with flashing. And spading. Well, you can only get spade once. Well, if you're the one spading people. Yeah, I would be pretty unhealthy to get an obsession with cutting even balls off. Remind me to tell you about this movie about a. Actually, no. I will not. <laughs> I will not watch any movies. <laughs> I'm very picky about watching movies. Okay, I will not tell you about this crappy B movie I know about. The B movie. No, not the B movie. Well, you just said you won't tell me about that B movie you saw. Uh, no, B movie as in B rank. I know. I mean, okay. <laughs> There's my other complex. Ooh, what flavor? Sure. One of the best flavors. Aw. What's wrong? The cough drops up there knocked over my stand of stuff. No! <sighs> Why is it so hard to draw circles? Thank you for your very deep analysis. What? But I can. I pay you so much for your analysis, Sis. Makes you feel better. I'm glad I can't hear them. Okay. Good news. Hamthu has been lined. Yay. You know what's next? 
No, we're not shading, remember? Because ham hams do not get shaded. Ham hams get colored like men! Okay, now let's see. Pikachu Media is a familiar. Yes, Pikachu is a Pikachu. Okay, Cthulhu is, according to the universe, green. <coughs> Which means it's technically every color but green. What? Which technically means every color but green. Why? That's how science works. Work like that. Like, why am I doing it in Psy? I should be doing it in Photoshop. Derp brain. I've always wanted. There's always one thing I wanted to play with, and it was a t-shirt cannon. Don't. They're deadly. I know, but that's why I want to play with us. You just want to kill people! Maybe a little bit, yes. You monster! Oh Am no! I the monster? Or is it have <laughs> Thule? My no, Adobe Photoshop stopped working! Oh no. That's gonna cause some issues. Yes, it is gonna cause some issues. How am I supposed to freaking work? Don't make me use Critita! I will use Critita! Did you just really try to sound like a Pokemon going Kretata? I will use Rattata. Rattata's awesome. I'm just gonna take the fancy 1% Rattata and just put it over there. Rattata is the top percentage of Rattatas. For he has a mustache. And a top hat. No one likes the top hat. Uh, okay, fine. That's better. Okay, so Cthulhu is like... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that hurt. Sounded like it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Guys, gals, non-binary pals. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, burping hurts. <laughs> yes, it does. Where's that zombie skin I barely use? Zombie, you will be you will become zombie green. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Is the song that no mode. Don't sing that song. It's copyright. Well, that's why I changed the lyrics. I think it still will attack it because it has the same tune. Although my hip, although my belly shaking, shaking Ganondorf so far hasn't gotten on my ass with the music that I've been using. So Ganon, I heard something interesting about you. Yes, what is it? I heard your hips don't lie. I am not doing that. It starts singing. <laughs> ah, I see you've seen that video. I haven't. That's the song I used. <laughs> I used a rendition of Hips Don't Lie that uses, instead of actual singing, they use banjo for the vocals. And it's actually, it sounds like music that would be in Skyrim in the Gerudo Valley. Not Skyrim, uh, <laughs> High. <laughs> Are, although nowadays that's, there's no difference between Skyrim and Zelda now. Ouch. The, the it sounds thing. like it should be in Legend of Zelda in the Gerudo Valley. So it's like, it works. So I just like, someone draw belly dancing Ganondorf. And since no one drew it, I drew it instead. 
Yeah, it, it is an ouch because it's basically just Skyrim with Zelda slap on it. Last time I checked, Skyrim okay, uh, doesn't have giant magic mechanical beasts that scare the living crap out of me that make me think of Shadow of Colossus. Spoilers. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It's still the same kind of game. Big open-ended world where you can go everywhere, many quests, weapon durability, and skill but levels. But actually, uh, Skyrim doesn't have weapon durability. I have over a few hundred hours in Skyrim, trust me. Um... Yeah, I have not even one. I hate it. It's okay. Pats your face. I even had the DLC with it. Pats your face more. Give me your DLC, damn it. That'd be hard. Um, I but mean, if you, if you have a PS3, I could just give you this. I don't have a PS3. Then you can't have it. PC Master Race. Um, but when I was a... But yeah, but... Yeah, there's no real weapon durability in Skyrim, so while people keep comparing it to Skyrim, I don't... I personally don't really like it, because as a person who has played Skyrim, I can say, yes, there are things that are Skyrim-esque, but it's just like every other open-world fantasy game. Yeah, but so Skyrim's shouldn't the one be I know more. But everyone compares it to Skyrim instantly, and I'm like, don't compare it to Skyrim. Skyrim is not like this, number one. Number well, two... Well, me like Skyrim. What? It bores me like Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an open world game with multiple quests, and that's bas but that's basically any open world RPG game. Yeah, and those bore me too. Yes. They're too open world. You, you, you just were like, give me a path, and I'll be good. I need some kind of true closure to everything. That's Here. why I don't like things like Fallout and stuff like that. It's just, ugh. Well, I love Fallout, but that's just me. Oh, I know you do, but... <laughs> Who told you? Kidding. You've been reading my diary again, haven't you? All the time. Did you get to the part about the bunnies? Yeah. Yeah, that's a really creepy nightmare. Okay, so, um, Cthulhu's... Hamthulu, uh, you currently look like a zombie. That's progress. He's green? I mean, that's progress within itself, right? Yes. He's a giant green turd. I made a giant green turd. You usually have to eat Lucky Charms for that. What? You usually have to eat Lucky Charms for that. I can make a giant green turd very easily with all the freaking salads I've been eating. Thanks a lot, nutritionist. Thank you, Obama. <laughs> Leave that Obama joke. out of this. That joke's so old. Yeah. Still love it though. Yeah, because it doesn't work with Trump. <laughs> that would dump the Trump. Yes, uh, Cat Lunacy Productions will not be getting political at all on her channel. We are fully aware that you wish to get away from that bullshit, so we shall. Unless somehow it pops up. I live in South Park, would not touch that. Nope. Oh, God. <sighs> green. I definitely made him green. That's fine. I don't want the Hampedia. <coughs> Thank you, Cthulhu. Cthulhu is like green. Thank you, Brain. I can see he is green, but what? That, what look at that one that looks like from like a, uh, like down below, underneath the artistic one here. It looks like right a uh, Scooby Doo. I think it is from a Scooby Doo episode. It looks like a Scooby-Doo episode. This episode, Scooby-Doo meets Cthulhu and dies for it. He dies for our cthulhu -y sins. Like, remember that one time we were going to sacrifice Scooby-Doo to Cthulhu? Yeah. Good times. Huh? Remember that one time on a pup named Scooby-Doo? I like the pup named Scooby-Doo. Screw anyone who says differently. What? 
it was okay. Screw you. I'm not gonna say it's bad, I'm just gonna say it's... It doesn't have the charm. That I was... made a green turd. I made a green hamster turd. I'll call him Scott. What? I'll call him Scott. You're not naming the green hamster turd Scott. Oh. Then you have some kind of name. His name is Scott Hamster. The, Scott the turd, uh, the, the green turd, that's uh, Hamster. His name is Hamthulu, Hamthulu only. How do I screw up on a hamster? A lot of ways, but still. Well, you won't say it. It's not an anatomical hamster, it's a squid hamster fish thingy. It lives on land. Actually, technically, Cthulhu lives underwater until it is summoned, and then it comes upon land, and then, you know, destroys enemies, and... Anyone want to read H.P. Lovecraft with me and summon Cthulhu? I have reasons. Uh. <laughs> Are you looking up Cthulhu so I can get some better color ideas? No. Could you look up Cthulhu so I can get some better color ideas? You don't look going at me. This is your punishment for your sayings, not mine. Yes, I say Hamthulhu, everyone wants a picture of him. Yeah, and now you want to come up for your sayings. Thanks a lot, Bayonetta. Wait. No. Thanks, hey, Obama. Obama has nothing to do with it. I'm just saying that because you want to protect him. Yes, I do. <laughs> you know, everyone said, what is Obama going to do now that he's no longer president? I joked around saying, he's going to host an LP channel. I'm just, my name's Barack Obama. I'm here to do an LP on Minecraft. Today, we're going to build the White House. <laughs> no, that would be The Sims. <laughs> Why does he have to be a Sims <laughs> LP here? I Come on, can you just imagine that? So, um, uh, I'm, uh, applying for a job and, uh, applying for the White House role. I'll have to wait a day to find out. So, in the meanwhile, I built the hot tub. <laughs> Michelle is not happy about the hot tub. She does not like skinny dipping. She, do she doesn't but, like the hot tub because it's in the kitchen. <laughs> but they're, um, giving me the option to skinny dip in the uh, hot tub. Barack does not sound like that, number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell I don't watch TV. I don't care, frankly. I'm an American. I don't give a damn about what those people in the White House do. I know you don't. You're pep pep. But still, <laughs> it is funny how your portrayal of Barack... <laughs> I oh, saw... yeah, but you, you gotta take him and then make him talking to the Effectively, everyone on YouTube. This went from talking in front of a podium to talking to anyone that can be on the internet. Good point. He should sound like PewDiePie. Wait, no. <laughs> hey, uh, it's, uh, uh, Barack Obama. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm playing The Sims. I forgot what I was doing here issues where I forgot what I'm doing in game. In game, well, I'm like, I'm on a mission. And I'm here just thinking, well, that just sums up your entire presidency right there. And I just got political. Hey, I liked what Barack did. <laughs> I thought we agreed not to get political. Crap! You were talking to me, remember? I usually, uh, uh, I'll my bro. My bro. It's just my life. Good news! I'm, I'm secretly I fixed... the rock. You're secretly the rock? Oh, that'd be impressive, but it would explain why I'm being a oh god that bad. That bad, that bad, that bad. Well, good news. I made Hamthulu look a little less like a green turd. Well, that's good. <coughs> Let's see how it's going so far. Oh, yeah, that works. <coughs> now I have to do is pause. Oh. 
Thank you. I am Hamthulu. Bow before me, for I am your new president. How? Oh, ham hams don't have knees. Hamsters have knees? I will break out the guinea pig and point out where the knees are. Yes, but have you ever seen a ham have you ever seen a ham 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 Charles bend over kneel? Yes! Remember that episode which ascended a fantasy realm? A fantasy realm. That's not that's not canon. It's still canon. Are we really gonna argue over the canon over a show that was on ten years ago? Yes. First of all, I like it. Second of all, people do it for Star Trek, even the original series. Yeah, so why should it be any different with me than a show I like? Valid point. Okay, so. I've already figured out what I'm going to do for Cthulhu's eyes. Cover them in? Yes, I'm going to do them red. Okay, that's... Because Art. a lot of interpretations of Cthulhu's eyes are like either red or like a really inky bluish black. What are your choice? What do you think? Well, I think red's cliche. Oh, red is cliche. Yes. How many quote unquote evil things do you know that have also red eyes? Blue eyes, white dragon. Blue eyes isn't evil. Blue eyes is actually a light type monster. Yes, but he's controlled by an evil guy. Who doesn't have red eyes? Look, it said in the name, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then there's Red Eyes Black Dragon, which is supposed to be the dark counterpart to the and, Blue Eyes. And, yet, and look, it has red eyes. And yet Joey, who is the good guy, has the evil dragon. But it doesn't matter, because the Red Eyes is a dark type. Which, effectively, is the evil classification. Alright, inky blue it is. That's why my bad guys have green eyes. At least they're not all gingers. You gotta have variety. I, I, I won't do gingers. The closest to a ginger I'll do is Vulpix. And that's not even the right thing. Which is why I, won't, I can't live with it. But a lot of the Vulpix will either have purple eyes or they have green eyes. It's one that I just sent you uh, a while ago that has green eyes. There we go. I am Hamthulu, keeper of peanuts. Hey. Keeper of the ma ma magical hand that grants wishes. But only but, my wishes. <laughs> yeah, but you have to eat it. You have to eat it in order for me to grant the wish. So I trapped it in my sex dungeon. I was gonna say I trapped it in- I put it in a bunch of sandwiches at Subway, but okay! <laughs> <laughs> this, it's like the uh, special ham, the bread challenges where you try and pick the good bread out of a bunch of ba bad breads. But it says, like, it's a- uh, Here's a magical subway. If you buy the wrong sub, you grant me a wish. I want subway. I want subway now. <laughs> Steak and cheese. I remember when it was five bucks. It was so nice. What do you think? I'm so sorry. Um. Good. I don't know. I want to make the. I I don't know if I want to make the tentacles lighter or darker. Uh, I might go uh, dark and lighter, like darker on one part and lighter on the other part. Kind of like how it acts. If you look like an, an octopus, like it has like the main color on top, but underneath it's got like a, a lighter, creamier color. You just want to complicate things. <laughs> I'm just being politically correct. For an octopoy. Yes. Ah oh, crap, ladies and gentlemen, I have a s issue right now. It's in my politicalness. No, it's my, it's not picking up my, uh, it's not picking up my, uh, uh, pen pressure. Uh. So I have to restart the surfaces. <laughs> Yay! What? Well, that's the advantage to not use a uh, tablet. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh no. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. It's back on. I've been awake for three hours. Congratulations. Would you like a bagel? 
hope they don't expect me to watch the puppy again tonight. I will be so angry. What? But I hope they don't want me to watch the puppy again tonight. I will be so angry. Would you rather watch a cat? Yeah. Zelly you at least know how to go to sleep on their own. They don't need to be watched. That dog needs to be washed. You need to be washed. I didn't say wash, I said watched. Oh. But yes, she could use a bath. Oh, yeah, the Kids' Choice Awards thing was earlier. Oh, the Kids' Choice Awards are tonight? Yeah, they were at eight. Oh, well, good for the Kids' Choice Awards. It's be not like it won't be on again. <coughs> yeah. Also, behold, the face of not caring! Is it just a grumpy cat face? <coughs> Who told you? Who told you it was a grumpy kitty face? It usually is a grumpy kitty face. Because most people don't have any originality. Well, it's not grumpy cat. It's just a, a cat that's grumpy. Yeah, but it's still a lack of originality. Oh, will you be nice? Look, I'm just not <coughs> into the whole cat. <coughs> like everyone else on here. Shh, you have to respect your cat overlords. No, screw that. Cats and dogs taught me that dogs rose up to save humanity from the cat overlords in ancient Egypt. And I'm willing to buy it as long as they give me more cute animal pictures of dogs. Well, it's a picture of an adorable duck. Yeah, it's something like that. And then they made the horrible sequel, Cats vs. Dogs 2. I never saw it. I wanted to see how bad it was, but I couldn't find it. It's horrible at the end. I know it is, but that's why I want to watch it. <sighs> it's, it's the principle of things. It's the principle! I want to watch a horrible movie! Yeah. It's like how I want to watch The Room, but no one wants to watch The Room with me! I've already seen it. I just don't want to watch it again. Well, I haven't! And it's stated, it's a movie you need to watch with your friends drunk. Well, I can't do the drunk thing. Thank you, medications. I can't do the drunk thing. Thanks, sleep tolerance. I can still do the movie bit. Wait, if I try to get drunk, I'll just pass out. You'll be watching the movie by yourself anyway. Okay, Hamthulu, I'm giving you tentacles. I almost said testicles. Woohoo. Ducktails. Woo. Alright, let's do here. I'm gonna watch Ducktails now. We all do. What? We all do. I also have an urge to watch Beast Wars. Kirby got mad at me the other day because I got uh, Darkwing Duck stuck in her head. You what? I got Darkwing Duck stuck in Kirby's head. She got mad at me for it. Why would you get Darkwing Duck stuck in her head? Because it was stuck in my head and I brought it up and then it got stuck in her head. I'm just putting spots on the Cthulhu. <laughs> Why not? Your creation. <laughs> no. Hanzulu now gets polka dots! Everybody knows things are sexy with polka dots. Not true. 
I don't think I, when I had chicken pox at six, I was sexy. Those are a little different. That's an illness. I'm like talking like clothing. All right. See, this is a spotted hamster. People are going to be like, so what drugs were you on when you came up with this? None. Every day we're bleeding from the plague. Ooh. We're not bleeding. Plague tails. <coughs> the lesser successful series of DuckTales. Yeah, the sequel. That only had four of them. Because people realize that we're kind of pussies and afraid to show this shit on TV. <laughs> He's a polka dotted fucker. What do you think? I don't think cheating is hard. What? I think cheating is hard. Well, sh yes, shading is hard. Why do you think I don't do it? On screen. I do it, just not on screen. Goody, my stomach just growled. Tommy, we just ate. Do you need more? Tommy, no. You missed your cue. Well, oh, sorry, I'm focusing on my drawing. Pizzas with C4. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Joel, so that means Caitlin texted me. What? That was Joel, so Caitlin texted me. Uh, it just says there's food out here. Okay, what kind of food? <coughs> she didn't specify. And doesn't specify. Knowing the fact that uh, maybe you told her, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. But I suppose I should look just in case it actually is. Make sure it's edible. <laughs> well, I wouldn't bring it back in if it was edible. No, I do need a shirt. Sure. There's almost no point in getting a shirt out today. Once they get back in the room, it's going to take it off. She'll go investigate this food and hopefully Joel doesn't go off again. I wish you luck, oh potato son.
That's better. Good Hamthulu. Now we get to do the technical crap, because this is the t-shirt. Ham. T-H-U. Blue. One seventy-five. One seventy five. Hamthulu. <sighs> Welcome, Tom, to the boring world of doing text work. What do you think of the font? I like text work. I'm a, I'm an author. I write things. I mean, texting as to text work as in to make it look nice for a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Uh. So I'm actually get set so I can actually look. Yeah, this is the boring part, everybody. The part where I have to go through twenty thousand fonts to pick one that looks nice. I'm a fat guy, so it takes me a while to do things. Okay, let's see. What do you think of the font? I like the font, but I feel like you'd be more, uh, more like crazy with it. What do you mean crazy? Like, uh, I don't know, you use like a, a different font that makes it look more, uh, more like a monster movie kind of thing. Where's ghoulish? Mm, ghoulash. I can make it look like it's bleeding. I'm sure you could. I can make font look like it's bleeding. It's a wonderful talent I have. What well, happens to be blood? Considering it's an ocean monster, maybe you do something new, new related instead of red, uh, red and green. Yeah. 
or water, like water splotches. That works too. Can Sulu? I am. What? Simpsons. Double question, have you ever had a chance to play the arcade game? Oh god, I used to play- Okay, my mom used to work in an arcade, for those who don't know. My mom used to work in an arcade when I was, like, in middle school. Yeah, middle school. And I used to get, like, uh, free tokens if I did my homework and all that jazz. Initiative, if you will. And I used to play the crap out of the Simpsons arcade game. Hey. I actually played it and finished the game. I never had enough quarters. Well- I saved up all my tokens from doing all my homework. <laughs> I made it up to the part where you bit, where you play the bit slap to wake up the game. <laughs> yeah, I played it to finish. I had no life. Well, you also had the advantage that you know you could be around. You could be around an arcade at the time. Yeah. I did. I had that luxury, but our arcade didn't actually have that machine there. She disappointed me greatly, as you might imagine. Alright, I need to do the duplicate layer. Yeah, right quick. Okay, so we're gonna make it look like it's oozing green sludge. Okay. The best kind of sludge! Uh, flip horizontally. Layer. Actually, no, the, uh, s this has to be smaller. I learned a few tricks in the trade when I used to do schoolwork. I did too. But they were different tricks. His was how to sell be able to sell homework and do it for under five bucks. No, I was a tutor. I do, I did my homework during class. So whenever I needed help uh, that lesson, I was also getting help with my homework. But uh, I got home, my homework for the week is done. Now, if I was an energetic kid who liked to go outside and play, go to the playground and all that kind of stuff, that would be fucking amazing. But, I'm not. So, I can use it differently by doing the next week's homework. Ah, you are like me. I basically never did homework, because I was always doing it. And because I was always doing homework, I was always good at tests and quizzes. But I was a first grade student, so why is it? Behold, Hamsulu! It's not done yet. I'm just showing the beginnings. Well, of course. Now oh, let's yeah. see. Now we get out the liquefy. Liquefy. Actually, I hate the liquefy tool. Really? Yeah. You just gotta I know works, how to use it. It works differently in my program. I don't like it. Well, when you're using it in Photoshop. I heard fetish shop, so... Fetish shop! I was wondering, if I was, if I could have a, 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 a weird shop, it would probably be a fetish shop. I thought it might be cool to have, like, all different kinds of kinks in my shop and just sell it. Like Japan? Uh, more like an American version of that. So smaller. Yeah, yeah not like a big shop, but a small shop. You know, dildos, or... Uh, some handcuffs, you know, basic things. Spencer's. I I, I wouldn't know. I've never actually been in a Spencer before. I'm a I've been afraid. Oh, trust me, buddy. You're you're not missing much. People are gonna be like, oh, so that's how she's able to do her bloody text work. Yep, people. It's not a font. Although it is kind of used off based on a font. Yeah. I just modify the font. I have meatloaf. Don't tell Shrubby. She'll get mad. What? Did I have meatloaf? Don't tell Shrubby. She'll get mad. Shrub, he has meatloaf. This asshole. How am I 
I gonna tell Shrub? I'm working. I will tell Shrub via smoke signal. <laughs> that one, she's on a windy day right now. It's bl windy. W windy. He's calling blizzard warnings a windy day. Well, yeah, I would consider 90 some miles per hour wind pretty windy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Florida. Hurricane season, all I'm saying. <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> Dallas. Oh, yeah, they had hail, didn't they, last night, didn't they? I don't know. Yeah, they had hail last night. Interesting. Take it. Suck it. Don't! Oh, Rooster Teeth lives there. They make ruby. And other Pardon. shows, but mostly I remember Ruby at the moment. Pardon. What? I want to talk about. To make a lovely raindrop. To make lovely blood drops. You must feel the passion within your pants. So you have the jizz in your pants? Yes, Tom, you have the jizz in your pants. That's what uh, that font means. Oh, great. Yeah, the only time I ever really used the liquify tool is for these bloody, t to make bloody text, and that's about it. I only know these two tools, and that's about it. And then... For some reason, I just got the random thought of the goggle lore. From what? Cy I just got the random thought of the go uh, goggle lore from Cyclonauts. Behold! What do you think? Oh, it's already marked about that. Nothing good. That's all I got for text. <laughs> I think we're finished, actually. <laughs> Keep it yeah, simple, works. stupid, right? Yeah, that works considering the, the hand arrow style. Very simplistic. Yep. Gets the point across. And they're small. And they're what? Small. Whenever they zoom out to go show Laura and uh, Haruna. No, her last name is Haruna. Oh, it's Kana. That's her that's friend's name, Kana. I was trying to think of uh, her name. Like, whenever they show out, show the two and they zoom out, the detail that the, the simple, uh, the simplest details that the hand characters have reflects well when it's zoomed out, which is why I think they do it that way. Yeah. Because the characters are just that small. The tiny with the hamsters! They are small and cuddly. Yep, it's finished. Everyone, praise before Hamthulu. Give him kisses. And thanks for watching this two hour video. Say goodnight, Tom. Goodnight, Tom.